Let's watch the round of 32 matches played between Wild Vic and Core Solomon in GP3 Survive and Friends vs. Core Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. Sir Volley vs. Counter Puncher, a classic fight that we see very often in Challenger Tournament. Here is almost the Challenger Tournament, it's capping 9 for all cards, including characters. Except that we can't use special strings. You can only use the regular strings like the Joker Course here for Cor Solomon and the Punisher Gut for Wayne Vic. And this is pretty daring from Wayne Vic because the Punisher Gut has no stamina shield, of course. So Wayne Vic must end matches very fast like this after deserve only one shot or maximum two to win the point otherwise when Vix Leo is going to have a very low stamina level too bad there for Kosselamon his backhand was not so accurate nice anticipation from Wayne Vic who is going to have four match points now and even with a lower stamina status it will not be too hard for him he is confident now that he has four points and when Vic didn't miss the first opportunity to win this match let's watch the second match now of course Solomon was using almost the uh, classic counter puncher lineup in capping 9 except that he was using antioxidants instead of the keto sourcing he didn't use the carbo load using the choker cords which only has a stamina shield tier 1 he decided to have a minimum of stamina which he got with the antioxidants instead of using carbo load using antioxidants allow him to have a bigger forehand nice drop from Wayne Vic very experienced volley player too bad for Cor Solomon he knows that he has to hit a lot of shots hard shots and for Wayne Vic to return them otherwise he won't drain Wayne Vic's stamina he can almost only drain stamina by forcing Wayne Vic to activate the long catches or to hit a lot of shots and force Wayne Vic to return most of them but he can't do that in uh, the first match and he can't do that neither in the second one nice detection of that very deep ball from Kosolomon from Wayne Vic who is leading now 2-0 let's watch the third match both players uh, using the same lineup and same strings wow the game looks a bit frozen very sluggish on Wayne Vic's device unless this was just a problem of the recording we won't know it didn't keep Wayne Vic from getting the first point but he seems to have problem now with the serve due to those sluggish problems I think so the two first matches were very short Cor Solomon unfortunately committed a lot of unforced errors. Let's see if this third match is going to last longer. Both players are committing a lot of errors in this third match. In 
where Vicky is now having a solid lead. Of course, Solomon, if he can succeed in making Wenvik play a lot of shots and force Wenvik to activate a long catch, well, we drain stamina and then have a, an edge by the end of the match. Can he do it? Two match points to save first for Kosolomon. First one has been clear. Can he equalize? He did, thanks to a net ball of Wenvik. Too bad for Kosolomon that ball didn't cross the net. Nice drop from Wenvik, who took the win in this third match as well. A bit longer match. So unfortunately, the fourth match was not recorded by Wenvik, but he won. So Wenvik qualified for the round of 16, where he will face Ryan Dino. You are seeing now the cards used by both players in all those matches, with the strings used as well. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the three matches of the round of 32 played between Wayne Vic and Kos Solomon in the GP3 Five and Friends vs. Score Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay TC5 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of the tournament. Thank you a lot for your support, and see you soon on Gameplay TC5. Bye-bye.